Hello everyone and welcome back to the Llama 77 Gaming Channel and today we're going to be talking about the Bloodhound Trials or Town Takeover as some call it. This previous week Apex Legends released a new event that offered a prize track in a new Bloodhound Town Takeover. In this event you'll be able to try yourself against the Bloodhound Trials which consists of three rounds. Prowlers spawn out of random entrance tunnels around the pit of the town and each round has more prowlers. Prowlers are not dangerous if you fight them one at a time, but if a group attacks you, they are deadly and will shred your health bar in an instant. So I'm here to tell you how to do it without killing them. Landing in the pit of the town will provide you weapons and ammo. These weapons are usually good enough. You really want an automatic gun or a PK is the best way to kill them. At every round, you need to follow these steps to beat the round. Step one, communicate. Try and get either a friend to help you or try to talk to the other person on an open mic or in chat. If you start the round while your teammate is healing, it can turn bad because they cannot help you fight the prowlers. And if one of you dies, probably the other one will. Step two, pick the right legend. You can complete the trial with any legend, but there are some really good ones that will make it a lot easier for you. The main three of these legends being Watson, Caustic, and Mirage. These prowlers are affected by Watson and Caustic traps, this meaning they will get hit by the caustic traps and slowed also by them. They also get distracted by mirage employees. This can be huge because if a prowler is chasing you or a group of them is chasing you, you can drop a decoy behind you. If you carry all three of these characters, you should be able to beat the prowlers. Mirage is the best though if you're trying to do it solo. You can either use his full decoy escape or a single decoy just to distract the prowlers for you to give you a second to shoot them. Step 3. Pick the right spot. There are a few good spots to kill the prowlers, but there's one that is the best. There's a spot behind the back entrance where there is a ramp. If you sit under the ramp, the prowlers usually have to come straight at you or over the ramp and jump down. When they jump down, they cannot attack for about a second, and you can kill them really easily. Or if they come straight at you, you can team shoot them. You really need to team shoot them. Plus, you can always go out the back door and shoot them really easily if anything goes wrong. Step 4. Always be listening. Just because you landed at the trials doesn't mean another team did, or doesn't mean another team didn't hear you from Skyhook. Most teams wait until you're done with the third trial, then kill you. You can do this, but it's a great risk because they already probably have very good loot. Always be listening for two things. The zip line outside to get on top of the trials, or the doors outside opening. You should close the doors behind you when you enter the trials so you can listen in case another team were to come upon you. And if another team does come upon you, you get with your teammate immediately and go out one of the doors and try to fight them together. Do not try and fight the prowlers and the players at the same time. It will not turn out well. But if you follow these four steps, you should be able to complete the trials. At the end of the day, though, the trials may not be worth the risk. The trials do give you two gold items at least but it could be any two gold items and most of the times i've done it i've gotten two gold helmets which is not that great for the risk that you put yourself in if you don't if you're not knowing how to do it or only getting two gold helmets which might not help you in a fight but one of those gold items could be a gold shield it is definitely worth it if you get a gold shield because a gold shield has the healing time and that is so worth it in a fight however if you get a digital threat or angel receiver either other than helmets it might not be worth it so i hope you guys enjoyed this information video on the bloodhound town takeover bloodhounder extravaganza loot awesome thing knowledge of power um if you do take bloodhound there too you will get some little lore pieces from when he was younger bloodhound but it doesn't actually help you with the trials you be in Bloodhound. But hopefully you are staying safe and healthy. But as always, never give up, never give in. My name is Llama77. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to smash that sub button, give me a like, and comment down below if you guys like this video. But that is all. See you guys. Love ya. Bye bye.